Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, I'm in the cornfield. This is the first cornfield I planted, and it is where I had the crimson clover. So I'm looking at the corn. It, the corn planter planted it pretty thick, but that's not all bad. It'll probably go in the silage, but if it don't, it may be okay anyway, but more than likely it'll be silage. But here's my point. Well, I'm looking at the corn here, and I'm gonna go over to the just about I don't know a hundred yards behind the camera I've got a cornfield there planted as well it had some clover in it but it was getting taken over by grass which is not bad it's it's humus but it's not it's not nitrogen and so I'm gonna look at the difference in it see if they need to be fertilized before I cultivate as you see I've got weeds popping up it rained solid for a week and the weeds I couldn't even get in here so it's time to get in here and get this cultivated, but if I'm gonna fertilize, I wanna fertilize before I cultivate for two reasons. Number one, it's cooler in the morning. And number two, you need that dirt to cultivate over top of that fertilized because the sun will kill your nitrogen. Let's get in here and look at this stuff. All right, so let's go over to the other field and see what that corn looks like. All right, I'm here. I'm looking at it. As you see right over here, I've got my flags tied to my fishing line. I do that every year because crows will destroy this corn if I don't really lay it on them. I had three scarecrows out here and I had these lines that I put up. Once your corn gets to this stage right here, you don't have to worry about crows anymore. They're not gonna pull it and mess with it. So at this point, it's important for me to look at the corn and determine whether or not I need to fertilize it, what it's lacking, stuff like that. Is it yellow? Is it purple? What color is this corn? You don't really want either one of those. So let's get out here and look and see what we got. Hmm, right here. That's obviously a foot track of a human, probably me, right there. On top of my foot track is a deer track. Pretty excited about that. That's why we have this place. Both David and Matthew and Joe all got bucks out there this year so i'm looking at the corn it's it's almost all got some purple in it so i believe that's a lack of phosphorus or potash something like that whatever the case may be triple 10 triple 19 any of this fertilizer that they sell has got it in there what it needs so there we go i think we are going to fertilize this field right here. I'm not sure if I get it all fertilized, but I want to fertilize a lot of it, especially over here where we grew corn last year. This here didn't grow corn last year. Over here did. Let's go take a look at it. Uh, it's noticeably shorter. Not too bad, not too much shorter, but it's in about the same condition. Now you notice how the corn is in a divot. There's like a ditch the corn is in we will put the fertilizer in that ditch then when we cultivate it the cultivator is going to pull the dirt over that ditch and that's going to be a perfect scenario according to the weatherman in a couple of days it's supposed to rain that'll be another perfect scenario so what that means is i got to get to work all right what i've got here is some triple tin i've got it left over from when i fertilized my fruit trees back in the early early spring actually it was in the winter so I'm gonna go ahead and use that, finish it up, because fertilizer is expensive. Finish using it up on this corn and then it won't be nowhere near enough. And I'll have to run to the store and get some more if they've got it and if I can afford it. But let's get her done. I was asked by somebody just recently, if you're gonna have to side dress, how you gonna do it? I said, well, I do it by hand. I just take this and just sprinkle it along in plants works pretty good it takes a little bit of time and a little bit of effort i'm not afraid to spend time and effort my boys are busy back home with mary in her garden with cynthia and my wife whatever they need to be done i've got the field work today it's just you and me i wish you could help me all right according to how this went on i can do about four rows per bag and I counted the rows. I need about 20 more bags. So I'm gonna go see if they've got it for one and see if it's 
way exorbitant in price. I'm able to really stretch it out by spotting it exactly where I need it. And I'm able to use appropriate amounts. Like if I see one like this, this one is under need of management. But when I look at one like this, this is absolute emergency room, intensive care. This guy is, well, if I don't give him some fertilize, he's done. And for those of you that want to get mad at me for using chemical fertilizer, yes, it's not organic now. I can't not do it because I've put my time and my effort into it up to this point. I have to proceed. Failure is not an option. I've seen some people, I've been really good friends with people that would rather that the crop fail rather than use the chemical fertilizer. And then what did they do when they needed corn? They went and bought corn. How do they think that corn was raised? It was raised with fertilizer, but worse than that, it was sprayed with Roundup. It was GMO corn. I'm here to tell you folks, this corn is still gonna be open pollinated. It's still gonna be good corn. And if you watch my channel for long, you know, this is gonna have clover in it. I'm gonna get this field right. But right now, failure is not an option. It's no different from people that eat meat, that buy it at the store because they don't believe in killing animals. It just don't make sense. We're gonna get with it. All right, I'm back. I got 20 bags of triple 19. So it's gonna do better than the triple 10, really. And just for you that don't understand the plight of the farmer, this 20 bags cost me 500 and $558. And these are small fields and I'm putting a minimum on. So the farmers got it tough, let me tell you. I don't see how they survive. I'm gonna get out here and finish this up right quick and then we're gonna get to cultivating. <laughs> What do we have here? Is that a cutworm? Let me know what you think. Heading back for another load. Huh, it's up about 90 degrees right now. And I'm not above getting in that truck and cranking up that AC when I need to. Right now I'm okay. I'm gonna get me another load and head back. I'm doing this solo. I've never got a bad comment about uh, claiming that I take it easy while I work my kids. <laughs> Some people probably think that, but to be honest with you, kids aren't gonna work hard if the parents aren't hard workers either. So you can just take it however you want. Oh, truck's parked in the shade. That's not by accident, I can guarantee you. This bag right here was $25.50. Hard to believe. All right, time for some AC. I guarantee you, I'm the only one on YouTube spreading fertilizer with an old ash <laughs> scoop. Oh boy, the people that hate fertilize, they they don't like it. The people that don't like to work hard, they get offended. And the ones that are in the, the big ag, they think I'm crazy. So I just really, I'm out here in the middle doing, well, I'm doing my own thing and I don't care if they like it or not. <laughs> oh man, it's time for a little AC. Woo. Crank it up. Roll them up. Hey. Thank God for air conditioning. And folks, this is what makes me happy right here. Ay, ay, ay. I like to see it, boys. First buck of the season that I've seen. And there's several of them there. Come on out there where we can see you, old buddies. Just a swatting them tails. All right, I'm starting to see I'm not going to finish today. It took me all day to do from here over that way. 
if you're wondering, you know, video don't show the depth very good. We we hunt this all the time, so I know it's 140 yards back there to them trees, and then there's another little nook that goes on back, and it's about 150 yards that section, so it's a pretty good sized little field. I don't think my wife's gonna need the boys tomorrow, so more than likely, the next scene you'll see will be the boys spreading fertilizer, and I'll be cultivating, and I'm gonna start over there more than likely and work this way, and they'll hopefully stay ahead of me. We'll see, but I know one thing, many hands make light work, and when I get all them boys together, it's unbelievable what can happen. I'm about absolutely whooped. We'll see you in just a minute. All right, this is the next day. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty excited to have some help. I not only do I have these two guys, I got somebody behind the camera that's gonna be out here. Many hands make light work, and that's what we're gonna do today. Right here, I've got my tractor with my cultivator. I'm gonna cultivate all this corn, plus the corn field that was on the clover. I'm not gonna fertilize, but I'm gonna cultivate it cultivate also the potato fields. So we got to get this knocked out because we're supposed to go to work today as if this ain't work enough. So hopefully we can get this knocked out and get to work. I'm gonna show you a little bit of how this cultivator works. All I got to do is drive straddle of the road right down through there. And that cultivator will not only work up the soil, it'll help pull some dirt over top of this fertilize to seal it down and keep the sun off and it'll cause it to melt and then the plants can access the nutrients so let's get with it got to keep that silver button right there on the road just like that otherwise we're going to tear the corn up I have pretty much cultivated everything over here that I did yesterday. And the boys, they look like they're getting down through there pretty good. They like a few minutes. We started at 7.15. Now it's about 8.30. And so they're moving on good. But instead of pushing them, I'm going to go over here to the clover patch. And I'm going to cultivate that corn while they're finishing up. Then we'll come back and finish this field. All right. I'm going to start on the potatoes, which you saw me plant. I planted these in february and i planted these right here the 28th of april and the corn went in sometime in may i can't even remember when but anyway i'm gonna just throw it on a time lapse and we're gonna knock this thing out if you've ever 
hold potatoes by hand. Then you know the significance of what just took place here. This is absolutely unbelievable. Now, I keep my rows wide enough that I can get my tractor tiller in there, but it's quicker for me to just run up and down here right quick since I've already got this attachment on rather than go home and get that. So this works fine and the hot sun is gonna just bake the roots of the weeds that I just uprooted. But now let me tell you, my boys started out hoeing this. I started out hoeing this. You talk about perspective now, when you do it the hard way first and then it gets easier, your perspective, you appreciate stuff. So I'm telling you folks, some people think I'm a little bit of an ignorant. You start them out on the hard way first, it gets easier, they get appreciative. Young people today are not appreciative of nothing, nothing. And you know why? Because everything's been given to them. You do this the hard way, and then you work up to it. Am I a genius? No, but I'm not a brainy Elam either. I know how to make these kids enjoy what's going on, and that is you increase the ease. You don't make it easy for them to start and then pay them. I mean, kids nowadays complain about taking the trash out, and they're getting paid for it. That's unbelievable. A shame. America, shame on you. Thanks for your help. That was worth so much to my lower back and my buttocks. I'll tell you what. So I'm fixing to go and finish the field that they did. And at that point, we'll be done. We're ready for the rain. When I cultivated the clover field of corn, my phone got too hot and shut off. So I got no footage of cultivating that corn, but I'll make it up to you right now. done Whew, boy i am so happy because it's supposed to rain tomorrow 80 some odd percent chance this here is in good shape now it's ready that rain's gonna soften that fertilizer and get it going oh when i get to sitting on that tractor and it's just monotonous and i'm looking down through there my little brain just are whirling and a going and i'm thinking about these kids thinking about how they work and i'm thinking about how so many parents give in to the peer pressure telling them oh don't make your children work so hard and they use these terms make force it's time for parents to get a backbone it's time for women to grow a backbone and it's time for men to grow a pair and do you know what it looks like for a woman to have a backbone when her friend says oh you shouldn't make your children work so hard she's gonna say it's not called making them work so hard it's called parenting are you gonna feed my kid when he's 30 years old living in my basement playing video games well no well then you know what to do with your mouth right now it's just simple fact mm -hmm. sometimes people come to me with help trying to grow a backbone and it's a personal thing i cannot help do it now you can definitely have help being spineless because that's not a personal thing anybody can come alongside you and tell you don't do that to your kid it's a personal thing to stand up and say this is my child and i think i know what's best for him or her every child is different i can't raise your child for you you got to raise it yourself and i'm glad about that because my five are enough for me thank you very much but i can't handle it i think i've got enough backbone for the five i've got where you run into problem is where mommy and daddy don't agree on it and you'll see me back out of that situation faster than a crawfish in stale crackers. Cajun boil, baby. I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. That between mommy and daddy. I'm just telling you right now, you don't have to succumb to the peer pressure that says you don't have to force your children to work so hard. It's called parenting. And I ain't even started the rant yet. I can hear it now. McGee, that sitting on that tractor is not good for you. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you on the next video.